All right, here we go. The bell's going to ring in about nine minutes, so we need to wrap this one up. This will be short and sweet. This is video number two out of a planned three video series. Video number one, we left off with multiplying improper fractions. And our example is what's half of uh, 7 fourths? The answer was 7 eighths. Sometimes you'll get a problem that is a mixed number. And we need to know how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay? For example, if you get a mixed number like this, and you know how to multiply improper fractions, this can cause you a problem. So we need to know how to change it. So we're going to break this down and go, first of all, we're going to start with the 2, and we're going to go around in a circle clockwise, okay? Zoom in a little bit here. 2 times 3, so we're going to multiply, equals 6, and we continue around the circle plus the numerator equals 7. So this one gets changed into 7 halves. The denominator just stays with you there. So you take the denominator, multiply it by the whole number, add the old numerator, and it gives you the new numerator. We'll call that the numerator. Okay, let's examine why this works, okay? So for example, let's take two and a third. Two and one third. Why does this work? Many of you learned this years ago, but maybe you don't know why it works, so sometimes it doesn't work for you. What it means is, We've got two whole things. If you go back to video one with the Kit Kat bar, that means is we've got two whole things and they're broken into three pieces. Okay, so there's one, two, three pieces. One, two, three. There's our two holes. That's the two. And then we need a third hole, and we only need one piece of it. Okay? One out of three. So, if we have these broken into denominators, broken into threes, and we have the two holes, and we have the one third x one, you can visually see that this means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thirds comparing to the original whole, okay? And so this is why the 3 times 2 works when we're over here. And this is why the plus 1 works over here, okay? So we have two groups of 3 two holes broken into three pieces, and one more piece left over. That's why that works. Isn't that cool? Time for a little practice. Do this one, do this one, and let's have three practice problems. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Do those problems very quickly and then check back in. I'll show you the answers. See ya. Welcome back. Here we go. Remember we go backwards around a circle, multiply, and then add. So in this case we have 4 times 2 plus 3 equals 11. The multiplying always happens first. That's order of operations. That's a different video, different skill, okay? But multiplication always comes first. Then we add 
if you use this uh, circle model here on the mixed number, you can just remember that it goes in order like a clock, and you do everything as it comes up. You don't save any of it for later. And then you just bring the denominator straight down. Jose, please call 5202. Jose, 5202. Whew. So this one, 6 times 5 plus 1, going around the circle. We throw the numerator on top. This is 30 plus 1 on top of 6. Circle the answers. And the final one, 7 times 4, going around the circle, multiply, then add. This also equals 31. This time it's 31 sevenths. All right. So now that we have that all done, let's do a little example of a problem here. Okay? Say we have two mixed numbers. Three and a third times four and three eighths. First, we want to convert to improper fractions. <clears throat> These are mixed numbers, of course. Whoa, there it is. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. Mixed numbers convert to improper fractions. So we go 3 times 3 plus 1 equals 10 thirds. And we go 8 times 4 plus 3 equals 35 eighths. So here's our new problem. Okay. 10 thirds times 35 eighths. Shortcut, multiply straight across, 35 times 10, 350, 8 times 3, 24. Okay, we can reduce this. Can we reduce this? Oh, I don't know, life's too short, but we're going to stick with that, okay? We could go... Get out my handy dandy calculator. 350 divided by 24. 14. It goes in there 14 times. 24 times 14 is 336. Which means 350 minus 336 equals 14. So it's 14 with 14 left over, which we can then reduce to 14 and 7 twelfths. Ta-da! There, video number two, done! Stay tuned, video number three coming up. This is where you get tons of practice problems, all different varieties and combinations. Video number three is where the rubber hits the highway. Let's do it. I'll see you there.